Hey guys, today I will be talking about this concept of awareness. Now, awareness is ironically what we strive to recognize in meditation. Many meditation techniques nowadays have an object, such as breath, sound, body, feeling, etc. So, you will always stay with the object. If you di get distracted from the object, you must return to it. It's a common way of meditation, and I'm not saying it's terrible, but your focus then becomes very narrow, right? It would be like trying to not think of ice cream or pizza, but then inevitably thinking of them. Go ahead and try it yourself. Try not to think of ice cream. <laughs> but then you start thinking of it. Think of it this way. The idea of awareness and the mind itself is similar to a fireplace. The flame in a fireplace has two qualities. First, it illuminates and brings warmth to the things or objects around itself. Secondly, the fireplace can self-illuminate. The flame itself is the light. You don't need to use a flashlight to see the flame. In a similar sense, the main focus of meditation is awareness. Objects are not so important. You can use any object to support you in connecting with your pre-existing awareness. Awareness itself is very open and very vast. And whatever phenomena you decide to use in meditation practices can be used as a support for connecting with awareness. Take breathing meditation, for example. The breath you focus on is simply a reference point for your awareness. Now, why do we sometimes only focus on the object and not awareness as a whole? Well, the problem is we don't recognize it. It's similar to wearing a nice golden Rolex on your wrist, but not knowing its value. That is why we try to seek and find awareness within meditation. <laughs>